Right, last video was a big track, unboxing it, fixing the battery uh, cover that I broke while uh, unboxing it and uh, installing the new batteries. Uh, but as before in the last video, I found. It doesn't want to move. Oh, it does, but very slowly. So, okay, I'm gonna try and uh, take it apart, see uh, see what's inside, see if we can get it going, and then maybe we'll uh, we'll give it a good clean up because it is looking very grubby. But I guess while it's in bits, we can. Uh, Good job to clean it up because it is a very dirty big track. Right, let's go. We'll take the batteries out. Take these off. Screw. There should be some screws under here, but. I've had this apart in the past and the screws in mine are missing. So hey, that should come off easy. A bit like that I guess. Yeah, that's probably why the bulb didn't work. There's no bulb in it. Which, looking at that, ah, there is a bulb in it, so there, look, there's the bulb, ah, oh, the end's fallen off it, so, how did that, uh, right, I think, the bulb holder must have uh, fallen apart. Let's see, there's two fibre fiber washers, a little imprint on that one, you can see where it was originally against that, hmm, oh, and there, there's a, you can see a mark for the star on that one, so I guess Originally, it would have been something like, like that, and then, oh look, yeah, on the back of there, that one, and then that, and then I guess there'd have been a contact going through the middle, which may be, ah oh, yeah, that's it, that's it. That's the bulb is screwed into this holder. Hmm. Look, it's just fallen apart. That should connect onto the back of there. So maybe we might be able to repair that. Maybe in the future. Sorry for my. Uh... Right, that there. Is a connection for big truck transport should go in there but I can remember taking that out years ago for whatever reason yeah. seems I've been in here a few times in the past see there that's a little bit of a uh, dodgy repair by me in the past uh, when I was uh, a bit younger, see, looks like I've fitted a new connector to it. I've soldered the wires on. I don't know if you can see in there. You can see two soldered connections. No insulation. It's a bit naughty. Yeah. No wonder we're having problems. 
Yep, there is the uh, circuit board inside. Oh, proper 1980s stuff. No tiny little resistors. Big misters and resistors. Right. Yeah, the rest of this must come apart. There's screws in there, screws down there. Hmm. Screws all over. No. Battery repair still holding up. There's four screws holding the gearbox in there. But I think I've tried to get that out before and had no joy, if I can remember right. But let's go. Appears to be there's some wires and a little circuit board on top of the gearbox there. There's a screw on the side of that. I wonder if that comes off. What that is? It looks to be soldered a soldered connection into the top of the gearbox. on the inside there for the plastic cover at the top which I don't really want to force too much because it is quite cold switch I don't want to break the plastic yes Right, under the wheels, on this side there's some more screws, let's see there, one, two, three, both sides, I may be able to get in to get those out, might release the top cover at least.
Yeah, I'd like to get this running. My uh, youngest daughter, I think, would like a go. There's a top cover off. I'll try and wash that because it is really dirty. There we go. The main chip looks to be well, Texas Instruments. Slides out, so well, that's easy. Ah, keypad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder the uh, the motor connections. Look to be just, uh, oh yeah, they just pop onto these posts. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, over the years of connections, uh, they feel tight, but right, so we need to get these the right way around. Yeah, that one didn't feel very tight. We're cleaning those up may uh, may improve things. Right. Well, there's more screws here. Two screws, three screws holding the uh, circuit board in place. But the circuit board is soldered to the battery terminals on the back. So whether it will come out oh, them screws are shorter be careful with these capacitors just one short screw So that must let's have a look. If we can get through there. Take this circuit board off at the top of the gearbox, but I think it's soldered 
to something inside the gearbox, so I don't really know. Uh -huh. It appears to be loose. I guess it's a. Uh, oh, look, it looks like some kind of optical uh, sensor or something. I'm not really big on electronics, but I take things apart. I don't actually uh, pretend to know uh, what everything is. The motor's there. The motor's there. Yeah, well, I've got further than I've got ever got in the past. Gearbox is off. Yeah, I think they are like uh, some. Uh, Photo sensors or something, maybe that to detect in the gearbox. You can see, uh, maybe not. Then just on these gear wheel, it's got holes that they shine through, so it must be where it determines its position how far it's traveled maybe right cool uh, I wonder if there's some screws on the back of the motors but I don't think just taking them off will release the motors. There's screws on the two halves of the gearbox. Hey. Let's tear it down. It looks like Whether I can get that out. Oh, that's loose. Oh, that's. There's a separate piece. But, how does it come out? How does it come out? Hmm. Leave that for now. I'm looking at the circuit board. I mean, I guess I am an expert, but everything appears to be uh, connected, uh, well, as it would, and there doesn't appear to be any uh, burning or anything. Like 